What is going on, guys? This is Eric for the Typical Outdoors. Well, guys, I want to go with my top three baits for the river. Well, guys, you know I've been enjoying the river. I hope you guys are also like the river content. It is so crazy fishing the river. You have all kinds of adversity. Those river fish fight so mean. It is always an adventure. So, we're not going to talk too much longer. We're going to hop straight into this video and go straight into my top three baits for the river. Now, I'm going to go in the order that I actually would fish these baits from morning all the way up to sundown. So, let's hop into that video. All right, guys, the first bait has to be a buzz bait. The buzz bait is phenomenal for the river. You can throw this bait in all those nicks and crannies. Uh, it doesn't get fouled up. I love the Whopper Popper, but the thing about that bait is it's going to catch those limbs. It's going to catch all that strawberry on the river. You have to be able to get these baits right up against the shore because a lot of times when you fish the river, sometimes the middle of the river can be shallow, but the outside sometimes have deep holes the way the current has been pulled, especially on those river bends. So the buzz bait is key, guys. First thing in the morning, uh, two colors I like is going to be your white color and also black. Those colors tend to do great for the river and also many other bodies of water. This one is the jackal. Super duper loud, unique buzz bait. That's my first choice for that early morning bait. The next bait, guys, is going to be a fluke. Uh, when they're not fully committed to top water, sometimes you can get them on a subsurface bait. And that's going to be the fluke, guys. There you go. One of the biggest things about a fluke is the ability to skip it. I like to fish it weightless. And I can skip it right underneath those low-hanging limbs because a lot of times the fish should be there, especially when that sun gets up and it gets a little bit hotter. So you can skip this bait in there, give it a few twitches, and they're on. Now, color-wise, I'm going to go with the white fluke. It is Old Faithful. It catches them all the time, guys. Ponds, rivers, lakes, and it's weedless. So you can skip it into a lay down. A lot of times you can still bring that bit out there. With river fishing, everything is precise and you have to get it into nasty spots. All those cypress trees and stumps, throw at them, man. Throw at them and be precise. Next, guys, Old Faithful. If you don't got this bait with you on the river, you're making a mistake. And that's going to be the Zoom Trick Worm, uh, the Blight Color. Now, you can get some of the variants with different color speckles, but I prefer the Blight. Uh, I throw it either on a shaky head, usually three eighths, or either I throw it Texas rig style on a three out hook. So great bait, guys. It'll catch them everywhere. Ponds, rivers, lakes, wherever. These three baits that I named are baits that you can take and slay them on the river, pond, wherever you want to fish. But this is a must-have on the river. Now, guys, I don't want to give away too much of my secrets, but I'm going to help you guys out on one. All right. Get you some of this stuff. This is actually the Spike It. Dip and Glow, or you can get JJ's Magic, which is great, too. Uh, you can put this on the end of your bait, guys. And a lot of times when those fish are not fully committing, this little bit of color will help you out a ton. Also, guys, it helps to cover up scent. Like, if you've been messing around with gas, filling up your uh, boat, and your hands have a smell, this will cover up your scent and help those fish stay on a little bit longer. Also, guys, don't forget about your cross-style baits. I didn't want to tell that one, but I'm going to tell it to you. <laughs> Now, I told you three, but I know all my guys out here like to throw big baits. I got to name this one because if I didn't name it, then I wouldn't be a typical outdoors. <laughs> all right, that's going to be the 4x4 Bull Shad. Such a fun bait to throw gas. Not super heavy. You can cast it six to eight hours with no problems as long as you have the right rod. Now, this has a humongous lip up front. I have thrown this bait in some nasty stuff, guys. You throw it in there, it'll hit off a stomp and go sideways and come straight through it. Or you can throw it in there and sometimes this big lip will just deflect the bait up and it'll oh, come through. Em. I actually have fish hit it directly after I deflated off a lay down. So super cool bait. You can throw this bait in most places that swim baits can't go just because that big lip protects this bait. It is a great bait for the river. Highly recommend it guys if you want to throw a swim bait in the river. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you on your river fishing adventures. It is so much fun. You have to work for those fish. They are so angry and they fight so hard. Well, guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on a video soon. Take care and tight lines.